All right, and welcome back, everybody, for our next deck, which is going to be Historic Jeskai. So we have a donation deck to play here where um, we're playing Jeskai colors, as you can tell, red, white, blue. And we have a lot of legends. As you see, all of these four and five mana cost cards are all legendary um, spells. And... Uh, the main thing that we get to do is we have to play at instant speed, thanks to Wrath Compassion. So this gives all of our historic spells flash. So that means all of these things have flash. So yeah, we can play instant speed Urza's Ruinous Blast, instant speed Teferi's, um, and so on. Um, oh, that's it's all, it's all good, Saki. There's, um, yeah, it's we're we're having a long stream, so I can I can fit a couple donation decks in. Um, that's a good good point. Um, we have a couple more Urza's Runa's Blast in the sideboard, because, yeah, that card's awesome. Uh, we have two Quenches here, and I don't know if I've played any deck with Quench before. This may be our first time with Quench. Um, maybe. I, I can't think of a deck that I've played that's had Quench before. So that's kind of exciting, playing a new card there. So let's give it a try. Jeskai, or Historic Jeskai is what we're calling this one. Uh, I'm going to use it. 190 gems. No, Zombies is not a donation deck. Um, that's that's one that... Um, yes, King Toll, yeah, you could definitely play a treasure map instead of a third search risk answer, absolutely. The one thing you have to be worried about with treasure map is it does get exiled with your... Um, it does get exiled with your Urza's Ruinous Blast. So that's something that could come up. Um, but yeah, you can you can play that instead. The Zombies, that was the deck that um, a viewer talked about that they had been doing well with, and it sounded interesting to try out. Um, but they didn't donate for it, so I'm just, just playing it. <laughs> uh, no problem. Um, Revitalize is another option you could go with there. So I went ahead and shocked in for the, the Search Risk Kanta instead of not shocking in. Instead of just playing the island so that I could still have Justice Strike available. Ooh, what is going on here? Yeah, and we get to just kind of play at instant speed. And it's it's pretty nice having Shalaya at instant speed also. So if they like use a removal spell on Wrath, we can protect it with Shalai. Thanks, Duke. Alright, let's get the Esper taking turns deck. Start that upload on YouTube. See, just like that. Um, Karn's pretty good. But I'm just going to go Graveyard here. Because I'm planning on Justice Strike plus Quench. Well, now that we drew Lava Coil, let's cast Lava Coil plus Quench. Um because uh, they could have, like, Lyra Dawnbringer that I need to Justice Strike. Okay, I guess if they play Lyra, I get to counter it, though. Um, I am 21 again for, like, the 12th year in a row. It's pretty crazy. Still... Why do they have so many lands tapped for a Tajik? I don't know. Oh, Guild Mage's Forum. Put a counter on their multicolor creature. Thanks, Papa Doc. And 1960 Pal.
So I like keeping Quench up, but uh, I do have the Lyra that I get to flash in if need be. Um, I'm gonna try this. Lyra makes Shalai a 4 5. So the coil does not kill Shalai. There we go. Our instant speed, instant speed tricks. That was pretty fun. We had Shalai protect Raph, and then Lyra protect Shalai. Yeah, instant speed angels blocking spells. Um, I don't know if I need to change anything, honestly. Maybe we don't need all the deafening clarions. I don't know, maybe we do. I think I'm just going to keep it. That works pretty well. Let's try it again. Let's just run it back. <laughs> we do have some good emotes. That the GG emote's like my favorite. Hawkeye's face. <laughs> yeah, we don't we don't always play like that though, of course. Um don't need to just to strike that. But they they could certainly have uh, Tajik here. Ah, history. So do I want to Clarion now or wait? I kind of like Clarion now. Yeah, let's just clearing on now. <laughs> yeah, Justice Strike doesn't kill it, so that's a good reason to not need to Justice Strike it. Hey, Av Avloy, happy birthday to you as well. I am proud to fight by your side. You can still fight. Hmm. I went ahead and went with the Clarion because I wanted to just curve Clarion, Shalai, Lyra. Uh, so that's why I went went ahead and went with it. But, you, you know, if I, if I thought my opponent was playing a Johnny adversary of Tyrants the next turn, I would have liked to be able to absorb a Johnny. So that, that didn't work out the best for us. Okay. Um, I think Garuk died to the cursed va to the cursed veil. That that sounds like that's a thing. Please don't have seal away. All right, that worked. Go on without me. So I can justice strike my own Lyra to gain five life. That's kind of cool. I guess. So like, if something happens and like the creature's gonna die, I can just justice strike it and gain life. Evil or I can just justice tough. strike my Shalai and gain four. We are. Good job, angels.
One and oh. Yeah, I. It's possible our, our opponent had a uh, justice strike for how they're looking at our cards, where like how they're looking at Lyra, where they wanted to justice strike Lyra, uh, but couldn't because of Shalai. That's certainly a possibility. Alright, first one in the books. Guild Gates. I could see Gates being a tough matchup for us with how they go way over the top. These these cards aren't aren't doing so good for us. Um Clarion Strike, Coil, those aren't um Those aren't doing so good. Yeah, we're on our way to two thousand um YouTube subs. For the next 12 hour stream because we're doing a 12 hour stream every 500 uh youtube subscribers and so that's we got to 1500 youtube subscribers and that's that's this 12 hour stream uh today and it worked out with it being um a birthday stream as well um and then i was doing before as y'all know, I was doing a 12-hour stream for every whenever we got to like the hundred um, each hundred subscribers, which was a new emote on Twitch here. But I think that's just kind of too much. It, yeah. So I went ahead and went with. So I'm going with um, every 50 subscribers. So on Twitch. For that so if we I'm at seven oh four now and so when we get to 750 we'll do another um, 12 hour stream to celebrate that and so on and yeah so I got 704 so it's 46 away and thanks thanks Rakdos and 604 thanks for the birthday wishes um, Night Ghost, no, I am not. I am not. I guess Resplendent Angel isn't legendary. Because that's why we're not playing Resplendent Angel. We haven't necessarily drawn too well either. Don't really want all these cards. Like Clarion and Coil are going to be boarded out for sure. I like Justice Strike in the matchup though because they have... Some really big creatures. Like Justice Strike kills Ram. And so that's pretty important. But Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to do some sideboarding. This is this is a tough matchup for us. Alright. Yeah, just resolve your triggers. All right, and I'm, I'm typing up the stuff for us. We're taking turns, getting that ready to go on YouTube. Yeah, resolve. Getting that thing um, getting that thing exiled, which is why I use the lava coil um, first just to be able to exile that thing for good.
Alright, let's just go to the next game. We're not beating the seven cards they have in hand. Wow. Okay. I was like, we do not have anything here. All right, Clarions and Coils can come on out. Um, so Binding, I, I kind of like Blast also, like Binding and Blast, but Binding and Blast don't play very well together. Um, I can, whoops, I can just not play, I can just not play Binding, I guess. And go for blasts and like a cleansing nova to destroy the enchantments. No, I think binding is probably pretty important. Well, I, I don't have other cards to bring in, so I'm keeping dive down because I, I don't have other cards to bring in. So blast and binding is a non-bow, but oh well. And both cards that can do work. Thanks, kitties. Yeah, so there, there's possible, possible. Yep, absolutely. It's possibly that the the dive down giving the the three toughness can save a creature from gates of blaze. Um, absolutely. So. Um, we'll see if that happens. Come on, lands. If we really want to play this Teferi on turn five. That's not a land. Come on, deck. How many lands do we have? We have 26. Yeah, we have a good, good number of lands. you thanks for subbing there for the ninth sub ninth month in a row. Oh, come on, deck. Not like this. That is sub number five, so it's going to be pack time after this. I have the party hat here. I have the party hat. Man, great hand for the opponent, though. They already have six mana to our three, and they were on the draw. We kept a three lander with a 26 land deck. We can't draw another land. All right, let's get a pack, though. Let's see, we're going with the Rivals of Ixalan still. Uh, seeing if we get some Storm of the Vaults. Right? Why do you do that, deck? Brass's Bounty. That's a way to get a lot of treasures. Why squabble for trinkets when we could be living large off all this gold? Yeah, our deck needs more Angraths. If I put this on... Under the chin? It does, does not seem like we're playing a 26 land deck at all. But we're keeping this with the double quench. 
So I want to make a Storm of the Vaults deck. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with the Storm of the Vaults deck yet, but um, I feel like making one. Alright, there we go. Our deck helps us out there. Definitely get that Jade Light countered. Thanks, Mike. And we have two rafts, so I can I can let one raft die to a removal spell and don't have to worry about dive downing it, especially how we have a second raft. Um I know I can play Aurelia on my turn and get the, the plus two attack, but I think it's worth having Quench available for something. Okay, because I was thinking maybe they have like a, a Planeswalker, like a, a Vivian Vraska, something like that. Revel and Riches, Storm the Vault, and Druidic Vow. It's going deep. Yep, there's Discord for subs. Um, that's my link to the Discord. Um, I'll soon be updating the Discord channel completely and and everything, and I'll be um, advertising a lot more whenever I do. Um, but you know, I've been working on like the the YouTube channel and the thumbnails on the YouTube channel and the new emotes and you know other stuff right now but that's gonna be one of my next things to do for the channel i want to make um the discord channel have put a lot of a lot more rooms in the discord channel and make it grow a community there oh thank you so much satis there's no oh yeah nothing popped up with that here i got you Yeah, that didn't pop up earlier. Well, thanks for all the kind words. I was subscription for your birthday and good quality content, but watching a lot lately and using your decks and stuff. Well, thank you so much. So that's six subs on the day. That's the second time today Streamlabs didn't put a notification up. So yeah, thanks for saying something, Sadis. Um, yeah, that gets some hype boats in the chat. Thanks, Sin Christ, getting those hype boats in there. All right, let's see. Our opponent is playing Golgari ETB stuff. So let's get Takali Honor Guards in here. Um, Urza's Ruinous Blast also seems like a good card against our opponent. Um. As far as cards to cut, I don't think I need the Justice Strikes, honestly. I kind of feel like Lava Coils plus Deafening Clarions and then Blasts will be enough removal. And I'm going to take out one Dive Down. I don't know. I feel like Dive Down is actually going to be kind of good here. Um, I'm going to take out an Absorb, actually. Yeah, I'm going to take out an Absorb. I like Dive Down protecting Honor Guard. I guess... Honor Guard gets removed by Blast, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> Thanks, Robbie. Our opponent just had a really slow start there. I'm expecting them to have a lot faster. Um... Uh, start and everything here. Alright, get the feet up. Get out of here, Shaman.
exiling creatures so they don't have the undergrowth is certainly important. Yeah, red's just for removal. Yeah. Yep, red for removal. Certainly think my opponent's playing like chupacabras and everything. Which is why I like keeping the dive downs. Yeah, I'm expecting them to have a lot of chupacabras. So I don't really necessarily want to just throw Shalai out here. I'll keep Quench up. That's a good draw. That's a really good draw. Whoa, Lumbering Battlement? Okay. Please don't kill my Wrath. Oh yeah, and Aurelia. Considering just quenching that. And then saving Shalai for the Chupacabra, but we we know they didn't they didn't play a land last turn, and so I wasn't expecting them to have a land drop here. And so Quench would still be able to counter a Chupacabra, so I just went with the Shalai. Um Alright, let's coil this thing. Like a sweet. Yeah, Raph and Shalai does is basically like rest, Restoration Angel. You know, if you have Raph out, then Shalai is is just Re Restoration Angel, basically. And there we go. What our deck does. Raph is just pretty impressive. Oh wait, I think we were one and one. Right? Didn't we didn't we take a loss? Lich. Yeah, so two and one. All right, it's jumping quite a bit there again, so I'm just going to um, going to go ahead and restart. Yeah, 12 hour stream today. We are almost two hours in. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we lost the gates. Yeah, gates got us real good. Thanks, Azori. Yeah, that's right. Lost the gates. And we're so we're two and one. We uh, got our gold back for sure here, at the very least, with having two wins. Ooh, I like it. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, we got the hat. Got the hat going now. And the balloon in the background. Just kind of facing the wrong way. Uh, let's see if I can change that. Graveyard. 
No, gates again. Boo. Did I put a Clarion on top a little bit ago by accident? I don't think I did. Uh, guild summon into Securitas route. GG. We got to untap with that, we could maybe cast the Ruinous Blast if they played more creatures, but man, Guild Summit is messed up. So Gates does. Look at all those. Look at all of those uh, lands they have. Must be nice. Right on schedule. Hurry. All right, I'm just I'm just drawing cards here. Um, you know we're so far behind. I'm not gonna just tuck the guild summit. Yeah, Gates is just. Even with counter, yeah, Gates is just going to be a really tough matchup for us. They just go so far over the top. Good. Play a bunch of more of those. There you go. I like it. Play a bunch of creatures. Come on, more creatures, more creatures. Get another ram in there. Or more colossuses. Guild Summit? Perfect. Love it. This Ruinous Blast is going to be nice. Yeah, I'm a new player to Arena, but I have enough wild cards to build any Tier 1 deck. Which deck should I do for a good Tier 1 deck? That's that's the thing. You can kind of choose choose any of them. Um, choice is up to you, really. Um, Alright, I'm keeping the land on Keep top. Keep up the pace! Because when we cast a blast here and play the land, we get to untap two, two lands and have absorb available. Um, it's it's kind of hard to, to have a recommendation because everybody everybody's a little different of like decks they like to play uh, and like their play style and everything or decks that they're more comfortable with. with. All that kind of stuff. Um, so it's hard just to give blind recommendation, honestly. All right, and I get to Justice Strike this. Hmm. Yeah, um, you can kind of see the metagame here, and you can kind of just basically pick and choose if you want. Slow 
We still have eight cards in hand. It's pretty ridiculous. Just have infinite cards. No more Colossuses. I'm not ready for this quite yet. <laughs> just, yeah, just getting rid of the Colossus, because Colossus would just kill Teferi. Um, so I might as well tuck it. I wish I had more of those Urza's Runus Blasts to try to go find, but we only have the one in the main deck. Uh, we're going to be bringing in more after this. Of course. Thanks, y'all. All right, at least they're shuffling away the, shuffling away the Colossus. They've drawn 13 more cards than we have. We've had to ferry out for a couple of turns. Mill our opponent out. It's not likely. But I think that's our only chance. Because we're not dealing 50 to them. They've gone through three Hydroid Kraysai. And two Rams. And then we've exiled one Colossus. Alright, well that's their last Kraysai. Kraysis. We have three Justice Strikes. And we've drawn two of the three. There's one more Justice Strike in here somewhere. Yeah, it's definitely very hard to, to mill them out because of Colossus, of course. Whiff. I won't hide from not so fast. Guess I'm talking the Crisis. Let them play that again and draw millions of cards again. Many of your game mirrors just win by mill with explosion. That makes sense. Explosion is just an awesome card. Ah, bane fire. All right. No time for a break. I wish I could give, um, wish I could use Clarion to give, uh, use Clarion to give Lyra, like, double lifelink here and gain 10.
I'm expecting Lyra to die to a Gates of Blaze. You know, they haven't they haven't played a Gates of Blaze yet. I, I can't imagine they don't have a Gates of Blaze. And that, like, all four Gates of Blazes are down in the bottom 16 cards. Uh, I... I'm not sure about that with Teferi. Um, with the storyline. Like, yeah, I, I don't know Teferi storyline too well. You saw how important Ruinous Blast was there. Let's get these Tithe Takers in here also. Something else to play kind of early. Maybe I don't binding if my plan's blast. Just go with the three blast and no bindings. Now I'll go with the binding. Are these? No, keep them quench. Are these tithe takers really gonna do a whole lot? Maybe they're not. So it looks like our our deck has a, a hole against gates. That's what it seemed like so far. The, no, yes, binding is good against their cards. The problem with binding is is also having Urza's Ruinous Blast, and binding gets exiled by Blast. Um, it's not a good combination of cards to have in a deck, but that's what we have. Because, you know, if we binding something and then we want to cast Blast, then the, the binding gets exiled and they get their thing back. Which isn't the worst on, like, Hydroid Crisis, I suppose. <laughs> it is the best combination because it's a non -bow. This is the same thing that happened last time we played against Gates. Oh, no land drop, though. I was going to say, like, I have, like, a counter spell, but they just played... A bunch of growth spirals that I didn't really want to counter. And then they just had so much mana. Um, this isn't a you know what? I'm not done yet. Go, Teferi, go. Can we ultimate Teferi? That's our, our way I think we can maybe win, is we can ultimate Teferi. I actually kind of like our chances here. Alright, never mind. It's all about mass manipulation. If they have mass manipulation, real bad for us if they don't. We need to move quickly. Hmm. All right, I guess I'm going to Justice Strike this because I want to be able to play as Kanta. I can't go Blast plus as, as Kanta. My plan was to, to play Blast. There and just get the Gate Colossus out of here for, for good. All right, Teferi's at six. Please do not mass manipulation. Because they could, of course, just have Bane Fire. We saw them have multiple Bane Fires there. Let's skip to the good part.
All right, Teferi at seven. Two turns. Thanks, Candy Dude. There we go. Certainly like having a gate. Doesn't stop Bane Fire though, of course. How many cards they draw in? Drawing a lot. Think we're gonna be able to yep. We're gonna be able to ultimate to fairy. So the big question is, if I want to just to strike the Gate Colossus, I kind of want to because I think I want to just exile the Guild Summit with the Teferi Emblem. I'll just draw. All right, Teferi Ult. I will phase you out of the time stream. Up. I'm known for my excellent timing. Exile Colossus. Activate. Okay. Good job, Teferi. Shall I with Flash would stop Banefire? Yes, it would. So if we have the Raph Shalai combo, that would stop um, Colossus. Hey, we got a game against Gates. It's unlikely we get another one, but we got one. That's probably about the only way we can get it is uh, Teferi Emblem. So that's kind of like a win. We got one game against our worst matchup. Hmm. If we draw nothing but lands, it's kind of good. Here, I don't have to worry about playing Justice Strike right away, I don't think. Basically, uh, Gatebreaker Ram is like the card that we want to Justice Strike the most. All right, hopefully we can draw another Teferi. Growth Spiral is so good. They get Guild Summit plus Negate backup already on turn four. It's 
good. And I, we had a, we kept a, you know, we mulled the six, kept three lands. I scryed, put the land on top, um, which is looking like a bad decision because our all four of our, or all five of our draw steps, sorry, all five of our draw steps have just been lands. Already a tough matchup, but double guild summit, and us only having lands. I think this one's over. Well darn. All right, so our deck is so historic chess guy here was pretty fun to play, and we did some. Hey, look at that! We got a, a some mythic that was forty gems. Nice. It was pretty fun to play, and we did some cool stuff with with Raf Capassion. Raf was pretty sweet, you know. Raf and then Shalai. Uh, got to do that a few times. That was pretty awesome. We're just really bad against Gates. Um, don't have too much to help us with that matchup. I don't know exactly what we would need. It seems like we don't have enough card draw in the deck. I, I kind of wish we had like Chemister's Insights, maybe like just something else to like draw some extra cards, like um, while we have like our mana up. Uh, Urza's Ruinous Blast was amazing. Love that card. Not sure I like Tithe Takers. Honestly, maybe not. Maybe like that could be, maybe Tithe Taker and Revitalize. Maybe these could just be like Chemister's Insights. Um, for like when we take out Clarions, we bring in Insights kind of thing. That could be something there to to get us because we just don't have as many cards. If we don't have Teferi. Um, I don't love the Karn, like the one Karn. I think I'd rather have an Insight than a Karn. Um, I've never liked playing one one Karn because if you have a Karn and you tick up um, and you exile some like really good card and then they can tempt your Karn or whatever, you know, like they, they use a removal spell on your Karn, then you never get to get that card back. You can't, you can't just draw another Karn and play the other Karn in minus and get that card with the silver counter back. So I've never liked playing one Karn. So that's an option maybe like some chemistry's insights for a little bit of card draw. Um, but yeah, I think this deck's really good against aggro decks. Um, if you play against a decent amount of aggro decks, because you have the Shalai, Lyra, Raph, and then you also have Clary. Like, there is so much stuff here against aggro. Um, really good there in those matchups. But the the uh, biggest mid-range deck around, uh, Gates, just goes too far over the top um, for it. So there we go. All right, if you're watching this later on on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button.